Dolly Hugs, guys! And welcome to our Dolly OOAK series, wherein we fully customize a doll through repaint and fashion. But before we start, remember to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to stay updated for future episodes. So what are you waiting for? Let's begin! For today's episode, we are going to recreate Miss Gazini Ganada's look during the evening gown competition when she won the title as Bidibining Pilipinas Universe 2019. Her evening gown was designed by the talented and world-class Cebu-based fashion designer, Carrie Sanchago. So for today's doll project, we're going to use the Louboutin face mold, although some collectors would refer to her as the Glimmer of Gold face mold. As you can see, her hair has been rerouted by BCMA Doll Salon. I'll be putting a link down below so you can check out their works. Now let's put her hair on a bun and prep her face. Let's remove the factory paint using a cotton ball with acetone. We can now proceed in painting the whites of the eye. So what I would do is I would start with an outline and then I would be filling it in with multiple coats of paint. Just always remember to give your paint an ample time to dry in between coats. We can now proceed in painting the outlines. So I usually start with a rough outline using a lighter color of paint to serve as a guide. Just continue building up layers until the lines darken. Then proceed in painting the eyelids. I also started painting a rough outline of the lips. Again, we're going to start with a rough outline for the brows. What I do is I normally make the brows lighter than the other outlines. Then add a few layers of paint to darken the brows. Now let's continue by adding the initial contour and shadows. Now let's add some highlights. I usually add highlights on the brow bone, along the nose line, and the lips. We can now proceed in adding and darkening details.
Now let's paint her lips. Let's proceed in painting the irises and the pupils. So what I would do is similar to how I paint the eye whites. So what I would do is I would start with an outline and then I would be filling it in with multiple coats of paint. Then, after filling in the eyeball, I started painting in the actual eye color. Then let's proceed in painting the lashes and the eyeliner. Using our chalk pastels, we can now add our final contour and blush. During this step, I would add additional contours and blushing using soft pastels. and be sure to dust off any excess pastels. And lastly, sealing and varnishing. While waiting for the varnish to dry, let's set her aside and start making her garment. Let's start by preparing the base gown. So what I did is I already drafted and cut out the pattern off cam. Then pinned the pattern to the fabric. For the main fabric, I used a pink charmeuse silk. The reason why I use charmeuse silk because it is a thinner and softer fabric and it is perfect in working on a doll scale. After pinning all the patterns to the fabric, it's time to cut them out.
Now that we're done cutting, let's start to assemble our base gown. I normally prefer basting everything so that I don't have to worry about the fabric moving around when I use the sewing machine. Because the basting helps in keeping the fabric aligned while sewing. By the way, on a side note, the reason why I love Gazzini's gown during the pageant, it's because it's not your usual beaded pageant gown. I just love the idea of using the same fabric and putting those intricate details on her gown. After basting, we can now start sewing the base. After sewing the base, let's set it aside and make the bias strips. In making the bias strips, I start by cutting a small swatch of square fabric. Then iron it out using a flat iron. Then fold it diagonally on a 45 degree angle along the bias. Then iron it again to secure in place. Then sew the fabric and cut the excess. Just repeat the steps until you make an enough amount of bias strips. Now let's go back and complete our base gown. As you can see, I already attached the skirt lining before sewing it to the upper part of the dress. Although, in the original design of the dress, it is supposed to be a one-piece sweetheart neckline gown. But since we are working on a doll scale, I decided to use a tool fabric for the upper part. So we can add the bias strips without making the upper torso too bulky and lose its shape. First, I am going to sew the lining of the skirt. Then sew the main fabric of the skirt after. Now that the skirt is secure on the body, let's make an outline of the neckline using a thread as a guide. Later on, I decided to put a temporary straps around the neck so the bodice won't move around when I attach the bias strips.
Just keep on attaching the bias strips until the whole bodice is covered, then set aside. Now let's make the gown details. Starting with the wing details, cut bias strips within 1 8 inch in width. Then cut the strips into shorter strips. Then when you have enough smaller strips, taper one end to make it pointed and look like a feather. Then set aside. For the swirl details, I drew the swirls and other details using a thin cardboard. For the small swirls, I made a base pattern and traced a few more. And I also made the same number of swirls on the reverse side. Then I applied fabric glue on the cardboard using a toothpick. Then attach it to the fabric and let it dry. When the fabric glue is dry, cut all the pieces leaving a few centimeters of allowance. Then cut a few slits on the fabric so you can fold over the fabric. Then apply fabric glue and fold over. Repeat these steps for the rest of the details. Now, we are ready to attach the details to our base gown. Using a fabric glue, let's start by attaching the wings. I attached the wings alternately on each side so I would know if the wings are even.
Then I proceed in attaching the swirls. After attaching all the details, let's give it a couple of hours to dry. Then we are ready to dress up our doll. I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And please leave us a comment down below and tell us what you think. And remember to click the subscribe button and hit the bell to stay updated for new contents. And see us in our other social media accounts. And always remember, if you cannot have one, you can always make one. Customize your life and your doll because life's a doll. Thank you for watching and see you next time.